What do you do, y'all? Welcome to the Crypto Channel 329. It's your boy cousin here for another crypto video. Welcome. And today I'm going to talk about Mars ecosystem, Mars strategy, and what's the prediction for the future. Okay. So first things first, this is not financial advice. This is just, this is just me sharing my crypto journey with y'all and bring you the news. Okay. And my maybe some new opportunities. All right. <clears throat> so let's get right into it. So as you might know, the market is red. Okay. So once the Bitcoin is down every other coin follows the trend okay so every other coin will be down as well okay and you know this is the first time the mars that dropped from 70 cents to you know 30 cents okay because uh, you know mars previously so probably in, what was it i think it was in october or something like that the bitcoin went down and every other altcoin went down but mars stood strong okay so the SMS token stood strong and um, it held up really, really well. Okay, I was really surprised with the token. Okay, so when the, the Bitcoin pumped back up, you know, the, the XMS token went up as well. Okay, so um, yeah, so now the token is down. It's not because of the, the Bitcoin itself, but it is because of the USDM. Okay, so the Mars stablecoin. Okay so what happened so when they released the stable coin okay a lot of people got involved in that stable coin and um once they released the stuff the first um genesis event you know they uh they dropped some pools okay so as you can see over here we got some usdm pools and also we got some farms all right <clears throat> and initially the usdm pools were they they were super they had super high aprs okay that's why a lot of people um, and stake the, the the XMS, sold the XMS and bought USDM. Why? Because you know the APRs were way higher than these pools down here, and there was no point, literally no point, to stay XMS to earn BNB BTC or ETH when you can stake USDM and USDM is supposed to be a stable coin so therefore real people will go for the stable coin instead of XMS where the price goes up and down even though the price was more or less stable okay but you know feels like recently um, uh, the, the, the devs from the Mars ecosystem are dropping are listening to the public and they are dropping the APRs on the USDM pools because usually you know the USDM usd or the stable coins pools uh, the aprs are really low because the uh, the token is a stable coin and you know you know because of the fact of being stable there is less volatility so therefore the apr is low the high, like i said the higher the risks uh higher the rewards okay so the usdm if the coin is stable to a power a dollar okay that means if the, the you know there is no volatility you're always going to stay a dollar regardless okay so if the apr is above 100 percent, that's a bonus okay so as you can see over here the apr they still really good for for a stable coin so if you if we open the price the price chart okay we can see that once the genesis was launched okay the price rockets but they eventually you know like i said in previous videos the price will go down to <coughs> a dollar mark okay as you can see it's, it's it's trading sideways so it's fine they is looking for its place around a dollar mark and that's where it's supposed to be okay and uh, in regards to xms you know <laughs> you can see a big big dump because uh, a lot of people decided to so as you can see here on the 25th of november and 25th of november that's when people start to selling their tokens their xms to buy the usdm why like i said because the aprs they were really really good and now they're still good though they're still good for the stable coin like now the, the usdm coin is one dollar and two cents okay so it's pretty much where it's supposed to be and if we go over to the last 24 hours so the trading volume was 2.2 mil okay a lot more people bought the token and so almost double so a lot of people bought the token and just uh, half of it sold their token so last six hours a lot more, more buys than sells last hour 
more buyers than sales last five minutes more buyers than sales so that means <clears throat> a lot more people are interested in buying the usdm than the xms because you know like i said the usd usdm is a stable coin it's around the dollar mark and the aprs they still really really good okay so whereas so if you go over to xms okay so last 24 hours there were more sales than buys okay last six hours buys and sales you know buy 50 50 last five minutes buy <clears throat> so yeah a lot more people are still interested in usdm because the aprs they still quite high but uh, hopefully hopefully in the near future in the next few days or so the devs will drop these aprs and incentivize people to jump jump in on xms pools because you know otherwise the, the xms token is going to be useless because a lot of people just going to join uh just just, just going to buy the usdm and forget about the xms because you know no point no point as you can see over here the aprs they're quite similar to the usdm aprs if we go over here to pools to farms um yeah you can see that so um, you can see that USDM farms are better than XMS BNB, XMS BNB, you know, because um, you know a lot, of, a lot more people are interested in USDM. So over here, so with XMS USDM, this is a really good one, okay? Because eventually the XMS price will go up once the Genesis event goes uh, <coughs> finishes on the 21st of December, okay? So if you, if you look over here okay so xms bnb so 310 xms usdm 345 so why would i be on xms bnb when i can be on xms usdm <coughs> no sense if i had to start i would start on these two pools farms right here because usdm is a stable coin bnb is not a stable coin the reason why i'm, do I'm on this one is because you know i've been rocking with this one for quite some time and if i break my lp i will lose money because the when i first uh, made this lp the xms was about 80 cents now it's 33 cents 33 cents 34 cents so if i break the lp i will lose money so i'm just gonna leave the lp as it is and when when the, the xms token goes back up then i will probably most likely break this lp and uh, rock with this usdm or this one right here because you know usdm is a stable coin and xms price will go up whereas bnb goes up and down okay so let's talk about stretches okay so at the moment as you can see here i'm rocking with this one so um xms bnb to earn cake all right so what i do is i'm gonna do it right now so i'm gonna harvest this cake so i'm gonna click harvest so i'm gonna show you my strategy right now so I'm gonna harvest this egg. So a buck on feed, that's it. And I will have one cake. So it took me three days to get one cake, okay? Because this LP token now, it was worth about uh, 900 bucks. Now it's worth about uh, 450 bucks, half of it, you know? But um, it is what it is. So yeah, the cake, it's in my wallet. Let's just wait for the confirmation. And in the meantime, there you go. In the meantime, let's go to the claim page so we can see uh, how many XMS I'm waiting to be unlocked. I have to be unlocked about 800 and something, I guess. Uh, system is a bit slow today, but yeah. Hmm, not today, I guess. Let me refresh the page okay so 867 xms to be unlocked so in the next two days i will have x amount of xms to be claimed okay so now i've got the cake in my wallet so what do i do now is i'm gonna go to pools and i'm on this cake pool right here okay and uh, i'm on this one so what do i do i have some xms to claim to harvest so what do i do instead of harvest and then stake I will stake directly 
and then once I stick the system will automatically harvest my XMS and then I will go back to claim and you will see that you know the number have changed now it's 867 and once I harvest will be you know nine something okay for some reason this is too slow today uh, let me refresh it okay I've got 96 XMS to harvest okay so what I do the reason why I didn't harvest before is because I was waiting for the cake to be produced okay because you know instead of paying two fees I might as well just pay one fee so what I do is I'm gonna click on plus and I'm gonna add that cake that I just collect from the other farm okay so I'm gonna go hit max and this way I just pay one fee I'm gonna click confirm and instead of paying two fees or four bucks or five bucks I just pay four bucks and you do two in one so I stake and harvest let's see how much they're gonna charge me usually it's about four bucks three to four bucks hopefully we stay the same 541 I guess you know it is what it is so let's go hit confirm and then once that's confirmed you know they will harvest my XMS and I will go to my claim page and I should be able to see my XMS on my claim page so I'll have more cake 150 cakes I will have zero XMS earned and I will have more XMS on here on the claim page okay deposit is done now as you can see I deposit and automatically they harvest my rewards so they are here already okay so I had 867 now I've got 962 now I just have to wait two more days to have some X amount of XMS to claim usually I claim every six days okay because at the moment I'm getting about uh, 15 15 XMS but we can do the math real quick so let me just so if you open a calculator so you'll be 962 so 9160 so every three days three days we get 160 okay so we get this Not times 962 XMS to be claimed so every three days I'm getting 16 uh, XMS okay 16 XMS that's why I'm only claiming every six days okay so every six days I will have 32 XMS and then once I claim this XMS right here I come over here to the auto farm as you can see over here I'm getting about 0.60% daily okay and uh, what happens on this vault is it auto compounds my XMS okay so if you click over here there is no vesting period on this one on this vault as you can see no vesting period so you can claim your rewards anytime and um, that's the strategy I've been using so uh, what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna oh, I've got no sorry I've got no no XMS on my wallet because I have to wait for them to claim okay and once I've got the XMS I come over here hit max deposits and it will add up so let me go over to dashboard show you last week and if you go over here so as you can see there, so as you can see over there 77 so steady the XMS tokens go up because the auto compounds so auto farm compounds eight times per every 24 hours okay so yesterday or today two days ago yeah it was yesterday and so I deposit another 30 XMS okay so that's why I went from 79 to 116 and as you can see it's compounding the more you put in faster will your your K well XMS will grow okay so that's my strategy so if I had to start all over I would definitely uh, choose the USDM pools and farms because USDM is currently stable which is great and the APRs they are super high so I would definitely roll with USDM if I had to start all over but because I don't want to lose money on my uh, LP tokens that's why I'm still rocking with the uh, XMS BNB so I hope you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned in for the next one 
amounts 